What's up everybody, welcome back to Bullshot Darts. In this one, I'm gonna go over an article written by darthelp.com called Seven Mind Tricks to Improve Your Darts. If you wanna go read this article, I will link it down in the description down below, but I'm just gonna go over these seven different things, talk about them, and throw in my two cents. But first guys, if you're new and looking to get better at darts, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, drop this video a thumbs up, and check out that darts improvement playlist down there. Also go check out bullshotdarts.com where you can go pick up some bullshot apparel. All right, so we're just gonna get right into this list, guys. The number one thing that he listed is to be prepared. So be prepared is gonna be different for every single player because different players get prepared, well, different ways. Everyone's different. So he talks about making sure you're getting enough practice going into the tournament, make sure you're getting enough sleep, make sure you're getting to the tournament with enough time to get the amount of practice that you need. Now, once again, this is all personal preference. I've played with people that will show up five minutes before the tournament starts, and that's all they need. They get there, they throw their darts, they shoot well, they win, and then they leave. But there's some people out there that need to get there, you know, upwards of two hours beforehand and get some throwing in. Me personally, I like to get to a darts tournament about 45 minutes before the start time because that gives me enough time to get settled in, relax, get a drink, and just be in a relaxed state for about 30 minutes of practice before the tournament starts. But once again, being prepared is all up to, you know, how you are personally. But it is so important to make sure you are prepared because this is about mindset tricks. And if you are, hey, 180, look at that. If you are not prepared, your mindset will not be where it needs to be. So make sure that you are prepared for your darts tournament. Next, he talks about staying calm. And this is, you know, staying calm through the whole aspect of the game. So he specifically points out Stay calm when you miss. Everyone is going to miss darts. You're never gonna hit every single dart that you uh, wanna hit. And there's two different ways to react to missed darts. One is you overthink it, like, oh my gosh, I'm missing this dart, I've missed this dart, and now you're bringing that negativity into your mindset. Staying calm and playing through it, knowing that you're gonna miss, those missed darts aren't going to feel like that big of a deal because you know that next time you approach the line that you still have that positive mindset and you're going to hit your target. So another thing that he mentions in, the, in this article is don't worry about the what ifs, worry about the what's next. So what does he mean by that? Uh, the what ifs would be what if I hit this dart? What if I hit this dart? You know, what if I hit this 180? What if I hit this double that I missed? You know, where would this match be? Instead of being up five to three, I'm down three to five. What if? That is that negative mindset. So you're worried about the past, and the past doesn't mean anything in darts because all that matters is the darts that you still have left to throw. So that's why he says look forward to the what's next. So always stay calm, even if you're missing. I know that's easier said than done, but... It's something that you gotta do. It will help your mindset tremendously, which will overall help your darts. All right, guys, so number, I think we're on number three here, and he mentions having a positive attitude. Now, this is a positive attitude, everything. A positive attitude going into the tournament, a positive attitude while playing the tournament, and a positive attitude after the tournament, whether you win or lose. Now, of course, if you win, it's gonna be a lot easier to have that positive attitude. But once again, he specifically mentions keeping that positive attitude even when you lose. Don't be a sore loser. Nobody likes a sore loser. I am not going to mention any names in this video, but I've played with plenty of people who, if I beat them, I will put my hand out to shake their hand and they won't shake my hand or they'll like, just give me one of these, like my hand's out for a handshake, but they just give me like a little high five or whatever it is. Um, I've had people be rude to me after darts matches. And the funny thing is, it's not only when other people lose. I've had people beat me and they're still extremely rude to me. So I don't know what that's all about, but always keep that positive mindset. Uh, and a funny example that I just had this last weekend, my girlfriend and I played in a mixed doubles tournament and my girlfriend, is not a darts player and the people we were playing with you know knew that 
and we ended up beating them and <laughs> Guys don't like to lose, you know, in general, but especially when they're losing to someone that's, you know, not a darts player. And it doesn't matter if I win or lose. I always put my hand out and I say good darts. Even if I didn't throw goods, even if I don't think I shot good darts or don't think that they shot good darts, I'm still respectful enough to shake the hand and say good game, you know, whatever it may be. And this guy, once again, he doesn't shake my hand, just gives me a little one of these. And he says, Oh, if that wasn't good darts. If I threw good darts, this would have been over too straight. And then just walked away. I just kind of stood there. And <laughs> yeah. Stuff like that doesn't bother me. I just kind of laugh and move on. But uh, just kind of a funny example I thought of going over this list of staying positive. So whether you win or lose, guys, make sure you're staying positive. And also staying positive is going to help your darts because, you know, maintaining that positive mindset will always bring out your best darts. So... I talked a little too much about that one. Let's go into the next one here. And this is stay confident. I talk about confidence all the time on this channel. It is probably the most important thing that you need uh, for darts because a confident player, a player with a positive attitude is gonna be able to bring out the best of their darts versus someone with, or versus someone who's lacking confidence because they won't be able to bring out their best darts. So, Staying confident, once again, easier said than done, but it's something you gotta work on. Go check out my mindset tricks video. I have, you know, it's funny, I'm making this video about seven mind tricks, but I have a video out about mind tricks to have a positive mindset. So also go check out that one, because that's where I go into detail on how you can maintain that positive mindset, as opposed to just saying that you have to do it. So yes, you always have to stay confident. Once again, this will help you with the calm part because the calm part mentioned, if you miss darts, you have to stay in the game. You can't sit there and dwell on the bad darts. And if you have confidence, it will be easier to not dwell on those bad darts because you know that you're gonna hit your shot the next time you come up. All right, the next one here, we got concentration and focus, that you always need to be concentrated on the game and focused on the game. If you're out playing darts somewhere, it's never going to be perfectly quiet, your perfect situation so that you can maintain concentration. There's going to be people making noise. There's going to be music being played, depending what kind of bar you're at. You're going to have people playing pool. You're going to have people singing karaoke. One of my favorite blind draws, there's karaoke during the blind draws. And I absolutely love it. But to some people, that can be distracting. I've shot in blind darts that have live music going. So there's always going to be a lot going on around you playing darts. So it's important that you zone in and focus on what matters, and that is your darts game. One thing that can help you with this is when you're practicing at home, never practice in perfect silence because you don't want to get used to that perfect silence. Uh, so for me, I always have the TV going, I'll have music going, I'll talk to my girlfriend while I'm throwing darts. Like I always have something else going on at home while I'm practicing to help me in those situations. And another thing too is this is a big reason why I say don't wear headphones when you play darts because when you play headphones, all you have is that music and you don't really have much distractions. But the thing is, when you play bigger darts tournaments, there's gonna be dress codes where you can't wear those headphones and now you're gonna be exposed to this outside world that you're not used to um, playing darts. So yes, I advise not wearing headphones and you know, get used to practicing where there's different elements going on and just work on staying concentrated and focused on your darts. The next one here is dedication. So of course you gotta be dedicated to the sport. You have to be dedicated to getting better. You have to be dedicated to win more. And he mentions goals in this section of the article. I just uploaded a video about how to make goals. So if you're not too sure how to make goals, Go check out that video because I go into detail on how you want to write out your goals to make them, to help them improve your darts. So yeah, I mean, that one's pretty self-explanatory. Dedication, you have to be dedicated to your craft if you want to get better and win more. All right, we got one more left on this list and this is a realistic self-assessment. Now this is another extremely important thing because it doesn't matter if you win or if you lose, there's always something that you can look back on and realize what you did right and also what you did wrong. 
I recently uploaded a video how to get better after losing and I talk about, you know, realistically self-assessing your darts. Now, if you lose a darts match and all you do is come up with excuses on why you lost, that's not self-assessing. <laughs> that's coming up with excuses and you're not going to grow from that. You're not going to become a better player by coming up with excuses for your losses. And same thing, if you win, you can't go back and look and say, oh, well, I won, so everything was perfect, because you're not gonna grow from that either. Even when I win darts tournaments, yes, I'm super excited, I'm super excited in the moment, I enjoy it, but usually it's on my drive home that I think like, okay, I won, but what did I do well in this tournament? Why did I win? What are things I did well that I won? And then I think about too, what are things that I did wrong that put me in, posi in positions that make me think I might lose this tournament? So whether you win or lose, there's always self-assessment that you can do. You can look at your scoring, you can look at your finishing, your mindset. So always go back and self-assess your darts. And yes, it is extremely important to make sure you are realistically self-assessing once again, just because you win a tournament does not mean that you did everything perfect. Um, yes, it's great that you won, you threw good enough darts to win, but always find the things that you can do better because you'll be better for it in the future. All right, guys, that's it. Let's get in one more throw here. If you've never checked out darthelp.com, I've made an article article review about this website in the past. It is an awesome website, great, great resources there. And I definitely plan on doing more videos about them because you know I just love what he has to say and write. And I love talking about it. I love talking about darts. So guys, the link will be in the description down below if you want to go read this article yourself. Uh, leave any comments down below if you have any mindset tricks or anything. Click one of the videos that popped up over here. Hit that subscribe button, especially hit that thumbs up. And also go check out bullshotdarts.com if you want to go pick up some bullshot apparel. I'll see you all in the next one and shoot well.